Buffalo, Michigan. Today we've been driving all day. We parked all the cars in Chicago. Drove my car back. We're gonna go to the hotel, get prepped for the morning, paddle two days across Lake Michigan, and we're gonna land uh, Wednesday morning in Chicago. It's pretty crazy. Uh, but for tonight, we're just enjoying the city, gonna get everything prepped, and we leave at 5.30 a.m. tomorrow. Woo. this thing just happened. We just uh, started loading up the boat and Jim Beaver, uh, the captain from the Lake Huron crossing, has surprised us and showed up on the boat for this crossing. So Joe and I are ecstatic. Mike and Liana are holding on to that little secret for the past week or so and <laughs> we're super excited. Jim, say hi to the blog. Hello blog. <laughs> <laughs> Could be like 13, 14 knots for for like well, an okay. hour. But that's a big one. So this kid right here, you're just gonna unscrew this. That's what keeps it like water sealed. Yeah. You're gonna pull it, and then each one of these has one that you just pull out and you just screw it back okay. in. Okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get it. Woo! Lake Michigan, baby. probably 10 minutes in, getting that familiar feeling of uh, just rocking around on a boat. This is what we're gonna do for two days. So this is the fourth of five Great Lakes. We're going all the way from here, from New Buffalo to Chicago, Illinois. Probably about a 26 to 28 hour paddle across Lake Michigan. So excited to be here. Joe is back with us and Jim surprised us. It's like a big old family reunion.
a little over halfway through. It's honestly just been so perfect so far. It's nice and warm, but not too hot. Yeah, it's just been it's been a great trip so far. We currently can see Chicago. It is really, really far away. It's just little tiny silhouettes of the building sticking up off the horizon. You know, we'll paddle the evening, we'll paddle through the night, and then we'll get there sometime between like mid-morning and noon tomorrow. Captains are taking turns sleeping, so they'll be prepared for the night. I think when the night hits, Joe and I will take turns filming. And we're at that lull phase where it's like midday, we're just chilling, relaxing, hanging out, listening to music. We saw another boat pass by a while ago, so when you're out here and there's nothing to look at, everything that comes by is interesting, including seagulls. Yeah, this is it. We're hanging out and we're loving every bit of it. Chris, how long have you been chartering? 20 plus years, wow. part time, and I made it my full time deal. This is my ninth season. Putting too much Kool Aid, so I put a little bit less Kool Aid this time to see how that goes. Can you make sure yep. he drinks that? So funny. <laughs> Is that a little better? Oh, good. Okay. That's good. Good. Okay. So we're putting too much cool aid. Like a half squirt. There's a little bit. That was perfect. It's not quite sunset yet, but we're already kind of starting to be able to tell that tonight's sunset is going to be stunning. Like the clouds are really thin, so it's just going to be like this really soft, hazy light. Joe is getting some. Uh, some actual like photos. You want to see someone using a camera wrong? Look at this setup. <laughs> yeah, Joe's taking his. I can't wait for sunset. It's gonna be really, really awesome. I've got one battery left on the drone, so that'll be enough for like sunset tonight, sunrise tomorrow, and that's about it because I can't fly in Chicago. Probably the next hour and a half, we'll be entering into the night portion of the paddle, and that's where things can get, you know. A little more difficult so we tried to prepare Mike as best we can he's got his feet wrapped so they don't get waterlogged and stuff and uh, yeah hopefully he won't uh, hallucinate as much this time <laughs> That's it. It is actually down now. We just see the residual light. And so we are about to paddle into the night. And uh, we've all just been like, this sunset with the Chicago skyline, skyline has been so beautiful that it's been really silent because we've all just been kind of in awe. Taking it all in, taking pictures. Joe's been taking pictures. I've been getting all the shots, put the drone up, all that stuff. Now we're about to have a, a long night of paddling and Trading shifts, sleeping, and four nine yards. But we've done it once before, so we feel prepared. It's gonna be a good night. Hey. 
feeling, Mike? I'm okay. I'm tired. Yeah. It's been a long night. Yeah. So, Mike is, um, Mike is paddling here, and we just, uh, we just saw this, like, massive freighter boat. We radioed them, and they're gonna adjust course so that they don't collide with us. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. It's so bright there just because we're so much closer to the land now, because I know the sunrise is gonna be behind us. This is the leg of the journey where Mike is really, really having to push. It's really hard because we can literally see Chicago <laughs> and it looks like it's right there because the buildings are so big, but it's not right there. We still have four-ish hours to go. We know that when sunrise comes up, Mike is gonna get a lot more energy. Till then, we gotta encourage him and he is super determined. He's gonna keep going, but it is really, really hard. It's just a grind right now. I just woke up to this. We are like an hour and a half, two hours out. The Chicago skyline. <laughs> it is a sight to behold. Sit on the sand. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh. You guys are amazing. Thank you nice so work, so dude. much. Nice work. That's, that might be a Lake Michigan record, dude. You were you were moving out there. That's a quick one. Thank you. Yeah.
So Mike and his people got in touch with me. We thought it would be a cool idea to get them landing here at North Avenue Beach in Chicago. So we've been coordinating for the last few months. Stoked that all the weather lined up and worked out. Got a good crew on the water to make it happen. And yeah, glad Mike made it in one piece and good spirits. And you know, it was pretty record time out there in Lake Michigan. And, uh, and there were definite times in that crossing with Lake Michigan that definitely felt like that. Um, last night was very difficult. Um, the weather changed and, um, and it was very scary at times. And I, I thought, oh my gosh, Great Lake number four isn't going to be crossed. <laughs> what am I going to do? And, um, and my team, my team led me through that. And I'm really grateful. All right, Mike is getting a ride on this thing right here with Ian. Let's go. VIP trip to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> VIP trip to the bathroom. Good morning, world. We uh, have not been filming. We uh, we got checked into the hotel afterwards. We literally slept for hours. Went to a late dinner and came back, stayed up late, and now Mike and Liana are here, and Mike has made the cover of the Chicago Tribune. Look at that. <laughs> Look at this. Raw determination. So cool, man. Oh. Mike is going to do an interview. Good morning, Chicago. Yeah, he's doing an interview with Good Morning, Chicago. And uh, yeah, I think we're gonna, I think we're going to hang out with him while he does it. Look at this picture. Wow. Hope floats. The Chicago Sun Times with. Oh. Man on a mission. Man on a mission. Anita. All right, thank you, Roseanne. Paddle boarding is hard enough. Imagine trying to do it with a disability that affects your physical and mental balance. And then imagine doing it for 28 hours and 44 miles across Lake Michigan. That's what Mike Shorman just did this week when he stepped foot on North Avenue Beach yesterday morning. And Mike is joining us to talk about his journey. First and foremost, my friend, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. And thanks for having me. My, my body was done um, and my team just kept my spirits up and, and said, you can do this, you can do this. And, um, and my it just became a mental game at that point for, for the last kind of 12, 13 hours. Yeah. That was very all-encompassing, man. I'm excited to have this one in the documentary. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that was good. Yeah. Oh. Can I freak out? Is it okay? Dude! Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. You speak about it so well, and it's so encouraging. God! Yeah. Oh, I can't. I so just, good, it makes yeah. me shake, dude. Oh. It's so good. You can tell they're like blindsided by just like how perfectly you speak to it. You know what I mean? Right, like, yeah. I feel like you just, they don't even have to ask. You just, you just throw out all the information and it gives them everything they need, yeah, you know? It's yeah. great. Mike has done his media interview. We've gotten checked out of the hotel. It was a bit of a process. We're heading over to uh, get some breakfast. Hopefully the most delicious breakfast in the whole world, or at least in all of Chicago. We just finished the trip. Joe and I left Chicago in Joe's van. We left after breakfast this morning and drove to New Buffalo, Michigan, where my van was parked. The trip has been really, really awesome. Chicago was so cool. Mike just uh, just crushed it. It was it was a really, really hard crossing. You know, there there was a while where we just thought thought you know maybe maybe he wasn't gonna do it. But then he turned, there was a turn and it was just like, that's it. We know he's doing it now, we know he's finishing. And he did. We have one more lake that we're gonna cross and that'll be Lake Ontario. Uh, towards the end of August, we're crossing that one. And we'll cross from New York and land in Toronto. 
for the grand finale. Thanks for watching. I'm heading home. We'll see you next time.